welcome to Hawaii. I'm trying to catch this early morning sunrise over here. Welcome back, foodie adventure fans. Started off watching the sunrise from our bed right here by the bay, right by our hotel. Overlooks the water, which overlooks a uh, huge uh, Mauna Kea mountain. And there's like this majestic observatory up there that just lights up when the sun hits it. So it just looks like it's glowing from a distance, like a bright gold. Like it seems like the sun was gonna come out from there, but it never moved. It's actually, uh, the sunrise came from another side, but you can definitely see it in the distance. We actually didn't know that. But um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. You know, just waking up like that, you know, start off your day, really get you going. Hey, your ship has sailed. It's not my ship. Yes, babe, that's your ship. We're trying to board the ship, please. Who cares about the carnival when you have the solstice? They're pulling up into our port. Let's get ready for docking. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. We found our own private boat. That's a cool boat. The Celebrity Cruise Line Celebrity Solstice is here. They just came to dock this morning. went to the farmer's market that was really cool you, you'd see a bunch of uh, different type of uh, fruits and veggies you don't normally see uh, we got ginger with like a whitish reddish looking color to it you got beautiful turmeric you know turmeric looks ugly back in Houston like this turmeric looks like it's actually been treated well it's all bright orange yellow you know and it's actually it actually spreads out into other turmeric plants on it like you know it's definitely been growing properly oh yeah we we've seen like these wonderful bananas these huge large avocados like almost the size of a baby's head like they're pretty pretty big you know um so i was stoked to see all that Thirty-minute drive to Akaka Falls, where we saw wonderful waterfall sights. I mean, we, it says to take this path on the right or the left. They recommended the right, and then you basically go up and around, and you see all these different creeks and waterfalls and valleys and peaks, and it's just amazing. You know, that was quite an experience. There was even a little rainbow next to the, to the waterfall at the bottom of the waterfall. Very majestic. This is the adventure part of our channel. Wow, put that in, but you get to see a beautiful waterfall site right here. That's amazing. It's pretty, it goes pretty far down, too. Woo, spooky! Cue scary music here. I believe the spooks around here. I'd turn back if I were you. Wow. Very, very interesting. What's down there? Go down there, you oaf! This is like, uh, straight off of a video game, son. Straight up. It's out of this world.
wasn't as hot as the past couple of days I hear, so we, we didn't have it too bad. It was nice and chill. It wasn't too late in the day. I would definitely go early in the morning around like 8.30 to 9.30 just because you don't want, you know, a bunch of people in your way. There's By the time we left, there was like a bunch of like uh, older and younger people just like crowding the area of parking. It's hard to park. It's like $5, you know, for the both of us to park and actually go in. I thought it would be like an extra dollar each, but it's just five bucks to just park and you and your companion can go and take that nice long walk. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend Akaka Falls for sure if you're going to go. What did we have for lunch? What did we have for lunch? We had the Hawaiian Style Cafe. We're at the Hawaiian Style Cafe. I'm about to enjoy a spicy poke bowl and going to see just how good it is. And just how fresh that ahi is. Coming right out of the Pacific, apparently. This should be a very delicious treat. Right, so this is the Hawaiian style French toast. Nice and moist and delicious. syrup and that butter's on point. Too bad this ain't mine. So we're gonna enjoy this beautiful spicy poke bowl. Got some avocado on here. Kyurikaki, cucumber. Mm. It's very good. That's how you know it's good because it's an automatic flavor explosion. Good flavor. The rice is hot. Got all these beautiful togarashi spices in here. Crispy fried onions. Nice big chunks of ahi in here. This is like one of the best pokeballs I ever had. It was a healthy, delicious meal. Yeah, we went to an organic local food store, the Island Naturals. That's a beautiful uh, little grocery store. Very small store. They had a little buffet in there. They had sushi. Uh, they had pizza. They had a bunch of stuff. I'm guessing it was all pretty healthy. We picked up some uh, small Hawaiian bananas, which tasted like they were actually a lot better than a normal banana. Yeah, we took back a pineapple, a half a pineapple, and it's just it was just so much more vibrant looking and sweet. But I hear you want to go for the white pineapples. That's what I heard at the farmer's market today, but I'm not sure how true that is. It might be something in Hawaii that you really need to try. What else did we get? Uh, we got a little refillable Bromer's uh, peppermint soap that I like. They're, we were actually able to get a little travel size one for like a dollar, buck and a half or something like that. Very cheap to just... You know, go in the store and just refill your favorite soap into a small container for like a buck and a half on vacation. It's like really convenient. So, the soap that I use at home, the Bromers, is pretty famous. If you want real castle soap, it's actually made like coconut oil, peppermint, essential oil. I'm surprised I can tell you about this a long time ago. They actually sell these little travel containers for $1.39. So, I'm going to enjoy my shower after my workout later. And, uh, it's apparently only going to be a couple bucks to throw that up. Usually a big bottle of it's like 10, 15 bucks. So just getting a little bit for my trip will help me fill me Yeah, it's nice that they sell it in bulk. I've never seen that before. That's just really cool. Yeah. They make it convenient for everybody. So. Oh, I love this. This product. is a highly recommended spot if you're running out of toiletries and things like that. Yeah, we went back around the hotel and then, uh, not too far from our hotel, we got a nice Lomi Lomi massage. Uh, this person who was doing a massage is very talented and had studied in Hawaii for at least 15, 20 years. And uh, it was very, very fluid and relaxing. We came out of that really enjoying it. So that was a great experience in itself. We went back to the hotel, chilled for a little while, and then we went straight to the Black Sand Beach. Black Sand Beach. Volcanic black sand in Hawaii. Amazing. Ended up dropping my phone. 
I was just trying to get a good shot. I actually left my phone in the Jeep and then would decided to go back for it. Something distracted me. And then all of a sudden my phone fell out of my swimming trunks and I was just like, it was a perfect time. And like, we really, she was just like, my, my girlfriend was like, we need to, we should probably leave now. We need to get, get some rice in there or something, you know? And, uh, it started raining shortly after. So it was probably the best decision, but, uh, yeah, now we're at the point where we're uh, back here. I'm, you know, got my phone resting in a bag of rice. Got rice. Got rice. Got food. Got soul. Got spice. <laughs> Old song. Anyway. The adventure fans. So Mr. Foodie adventures threw his phone in the ocean, and now his phone is in yeah, rice. Harsh. I didn't throw my phone in the ocean. It just dropped out of my shorts trying to film the black sand beach. I got a little bit of footage and then I put it in my pocket. Somehow, the phone came out of my pocket. Yeah, we're about to find a good spot to eat. <laughs> That's a sum up of our day one, and uh, we invite you to check us out anytime and all the time. Because with Foodie Adventures, we're always on the grind. We're going to have to get going now, but uh, see you next time on Foodie Adventures. This Today's uh, Foodie Adventures is brought to you by Zevia. You can get you a really good drink without sugar or high fructose corn syrup, and you won't be feeling a lot of crap. Great!